Bless up. 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 As soon as I wake up in the morning, I see dollar signs. It's the only thing that's on my mind. I didn't want see. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Janelle and in today's video, I am really excited to like do this video because this is a video that I've never done before. So I'm really excited to like do this video for you guys basically. And today's video is a current favorites video. So these are all of my favorite products that I have just been loving to use recently. And it's all stuff that I like would recommend to you guys or just stuff that I really like and stuff that I think is worth the money. These are all products that you need to be like that girl, you know? And these products, I hope that you guys like also like them if you do end up like buying them. I hope that this kind of like gives you those kind of tips. So I split this video up into different categories. So we have skincare, makeup, perfume slash like body sprays, body care, so like lotions, shower gels, all that kind of stuff, books, and lastly other, which is just random stuff that I like. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment on this video and let's get right into it. We're starting off with the category of skincare. First of all, we have this and this is basically a dupe for the Laneige, I think is how you say it, the Laneige lip mask. And this is from Timu actually. And don't be fooled because it's actually like really good. People may think that because it's from Timu and it's like really cheap, it like doesn't do any good. But this really, really hydrates my lips and moisturizes them so i put it on like before i go to bed and when i wake up in the morning my lips still feel moisturized so this is really really good and it is called the west and month lip sleeping mask in the berry shade it also comes with a little spatula just like the need one does as well so it's easier for you to like scoop out of the pack next up we have the good molecules hyaluronic acid serum and i've already talked about this in my last video but i really really like this because of how much it hydrates my skin and it's not like a type of like serum that just sits on top of your face it actually seeps into your skin and you can feel it being hydrated and you can put this on in the morning or at night also from good molecules we have that yerba mate wake up eye gel and this is really good for reducing puffiness around your eyes or like fine lines okay this next product is literally one of my favorite things ever because it actually works and this is the ordinary multi-peptide lash and brow serum the packet looks like this and i got it off of boots i think this is such a good lash serum because it actually grows your lashes quite quickly i would say it works different for everybody but for me it actually worked i have mascara on but as you can see my lashes do look pretty good i've been using it for like a month or two and i have seen pretty good progress but i'll give you guys an update maybe in like a month or two to see how much it grows your lashes over a long period of time next we have a jade roller and i usually like roll this along my jaw or my cheekbones and and this feels really really nice when you like put it in the fridge to make it cool it's really cooling on your face especially when you put it under your eyes when it's cold oh my days it wakes you up in the morning it's really nice next up we have a gua sha and i feel like this is basically the same thing as a jade roller but i personally feel like this one's a bit more efficient because of this like dimple that it has in the middle it really gets into like your jawline area or your cheekbone and then you can also use like this side of it or this side of it so it's really versatile then we have the garnier skin active micellar hyaluronic aloe water and this is like a micellar water like a makeup remover type of thing and i love this because this is really gentle on my skin it doesn't like irritate it or anything so i just get like a cotton pad and then pour this on it and then just rub it around my face and it takes off my makeup and like my mascara and all that stuff really easily but i personally think this is a lot better than using makeup wipes and lastly i've been loving using vaseline you can never go wrong with a good old tub of vaseline like come on now Vaseline is just so good. I try to carry a big one with me because you never know when you're gonna need Vaseline. You know, like you might be ashy on your like knees or your elbows. You just wanna put some Vaseline on. I know this is kind of body care at the same time. So it's kind of like both of them. And yeah, Vaseline is just good for so many things. I'm gonna put some benefits up on the screen over here of what Vaseline is good for, but it's just good for everything. Like Vaseline can fix everything. 
that's all for the skincare section we're going to move on to makeup so firstly we have this concealer and this is the revolution conceal and define concealer and this is in the shade c13.5 this is a really good like high coverage concealer and you don't need to put too much of it on for it to actually properly blend i feel like even though it looks tiny it actually has quite a good amount of product in it for a cheap price next is the 17 multi light precision highlight pencil this is a highlighter and it's really easy because it's in like a pencil form so it's really easy to just like put on your nose or like your inner corners and this is in the shade 010 icy beige and it's really really nice it's got like a nice little shimmer to it as well without being like too glittery okay so this is like all rubbed off from the front of it because it's just been everywhere but this is the primark blush and this is their like cream blush stick and i don't know what shade this is in i will put the name of the shade up on the screen if i'm able to find the name of the shade this is a shade and it looks really nice on me and yeah you just like roll it up it's got so much product in it and it's really easy to use you just like draw it on and then blend it out next up is quite a basic thing but this is basically i think it's called an eyelash comb so you just take this off and mine's kind of got some mascara on it already but you just like comb it through your eyelashes and it's meant to like reduce any clumpiness and then we have a spoolie so this is just like a basic makeup tool i feel like everybody has this and you can use this for like your eyebrows you can use it for your eyelashes you can even use it for like your baby hairs if you want to and i think this one is from amazon next up we have the nyx butter gloss and this one is in the shade bitter punny it is just a really really nice like pink shade and it's not like too like bright pink in your face it's like quite a nice subtle little pink so it's really good to use for like lip combos and stuff i know this lip gloss is like really popular a lot of people use this for their lip combos so i definitely recommend this lip gloss and the texture of it is also really nice because it's not like sticky because yeah i hate sticky lip gloss like when it's like on your lips and it's too much and it's all sticky and like there's things getting caught in it mm. I don't like sticky lip gloss so this is definitely a good non-sticky lip gloss next up is another basic and this is just my eyelash curler which is from team you it has this little like protector thing on it which is really good because when you want to put it in like your makeup bag or something it won't be like too big you can kind of compress it so yeah this is just your basic eyelash curler i really like this one my lashes have never really gotten like stuck in it it's not like rusty or anything and it's just easy to use and yeah it just creates a really nice curl and it holds the curl literally all day and then i'm going to take you guys through three of my favorite mascaras to end off this whole like makeup section the first one is the maybelline sky high and this one is the cosmic black one because i'm gonna start like getting like the dark version of the mascaras because this was my first like dark version one and i really liked this one because i don't know i just feel like darker lashes suit me more rather than like light ones so yeah i definitely recommend this this has volume as well as length so it has both of them in it next up is another maybelline one and this one is the maybelline lash sensational and this one's really really good it has like a curved brush to give you that like volume i wouldn't say this gives you too much length but it is really good at giving you volume and also holding a curl and lastly we have the l'oreal telescopic mascara and this is the best mascara that is for like lengthening your lashes this one doesn't give too much volume but it mainly gives you that length especially when you put it on like the tips of your lashes it makes them look so long and this one has like a thinner wand and also really helps you with like separating your lashes that is everything for makeup so now we're going to go into perfumes and body sprays and i love me a good perfume okay i'm actually looking into like getting some new perfumes as well because all of mine are running out okay because i just use my perfumes that much if you guys could put some like perfume recommendations in the comments that also like aren't too expensive that would be really great if you could help me out with that the first one is one of my favorites and this is the sol de janeiro brazilian crush 62 Charosa hair and body fragrance mist that is a really long name but yeah this is a really nice perfume it's like pistachio salted caramel vanilla type of vibes so yeah this is one of my favorites i love sol de janeiro and i'm looking to get more of their body sprays next we have the w7 vanilla nice body spray this is just your basic vanilla scent and it kind of reminds me of like sweet treats like donuts and stuff like that and for a body spray it's really really big it's got like a lot of perfume in it and i've had this since my birthday last year which was in october so 
This has lasted a really, really long time and I still have a lot left. I also think this one is a dupe for the Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla. Then we have the So Unique Sweet Pea Water Jasmine and Vanilla Body Mist. And these kind of soap sprays are meant to be for like layering. So if you have a perfume already that kind of smells like this, you like add it on to kind of enhance the smell or just add to it. This is the most like floral smelling perfume that I have. And yeah, smells really good, really good for like on the go. And I take this one to school as well. This one's literally empty, so like don't mind that. But this one is called Femme. I don't know like who it's by, it just says Femme on the bottom of it. But this one's really, really cute and it smells really nice. This one's also kind of floral, sweet, those kind of vibes. This is a really nice smelling perfume. And this one's also long lasting, which you guys know I love. This one's also finished. I love these perfumes too much that they're just getting finished. But this one is called Black Dusk and this i got for christmas i don't know where it's from but it's meant to be a dupe of the ysl one like i think it's called black opium or something like that but this one smells really really good i don't know how to describe the scent and then lastly my favorite perfume of all time Ferrarang princess this one's also like very close to being finished i only have a bit left so i mainly use this one for slightly more special occasions like church and that kind of stuff but oh my gosh, can we just like take a second to have a look at how nice the bottle is? Like it's so cute, it's like a heart and then the top of it is like this crown of gems on it. It's so nice. And this is more of a floral perfume, very sweet and extremely long lasting. I used to use this a lot before school and the scent would last me literally all day. Now that we've done perfumes, let's move on to body care. First of all, we have the, I think it's called the Palm Olive Body Wash. It's currently in my shower right now, which is why I don't have it with me. But this smells really good and it's just like a basic body wash. Another one that is also in my bathroom is the Dove Body Wash. And it's in like the original like flavor or scent. I don't know what it's called. But even though it's like the original scent, it still smells pretty good. But the fragrance isn't like the point where it's like too, too much. It's like quite a subtle scent. And like just in general, like anything that's dove, I feel like is really, really good. Good for sensitive skin, good for all types of skin and actually keeps you moisturized. I also have the Dove body scrub, which I really like. I've gone through two tubs of those and I literally need to buy a new one because I've used both of my tubs. But I have the pink one and then I've also recently been using the blue one. Anyways, I wanted to include this one as well because this is like a hand cream. So I guess this is also in body care. But this is the Bayless and Harding hand cream. And the flavor of this is sweet mandarin and grapefruit. My friend Jasmine got this for me for my birthday and it smells so nice. And this is really gentle on my hands and it's actually moisturizing. Also from Bayless and Harding, we have their hand soak crystals. And the scent for this is also sweet mandarin and grapefruit. Next up, we have one of my favorite like body lotions. And this is the Japanese Cherry Blossom Whipped Body Butter. And this is from Bath and Body Works. This is like the only thing that I own from Bath and Body Works. I really wish they had Bath and Body Works in the UK so I could get more. It says that it has 24 hours of moisture and I definitely agree with that. Like this keeps you moisturized for so long. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And I feel like everybody has this. It matches up with the 62 like body spray. But it has the same kind of notes like salted caramel, vanilla, pistachio. And it smells really, really good. Not only that, but also moisturizes my skin really nicely. Next up is another basic, which is just the Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Pure Cocoa Butter Body Lotion. I've literally been using this since I was a child and it always does the job. So yeah, it's just your basic Vaseline cream. I feel like a lot of people have this. Okay, and then lastly in the body care section, we have the Veet Miraculous Oil. And you're meant to use this for like after you shave. So I do use this after I shave. I also use it just like when I'm not shaving, like I just put it on my legs and my arms. And not only does the smell kind of good, it also like really, really moisturizes and it doesn't just sit on top of your skin. It really like goes deep into your skin 
Okay, we're on to the penultimate section in this video, which is books. This is just going to be really quick fire, like just me telling you guys the name of the book and the author because I don't want to like spoil the books for you. Some of these are from the library, so I won't be able to like physically show you them, but I'll just put a picture up on the screen so that you know what they look like if you want to go looking for them. First one is It Starts With Us by Colin Hoover. This is like the sequel to It Ends With Us. This is a series, but it's the One of Us is Lying series, okay? This is such a good like thriller series, like a mystery as well. And my favourite book from the series would probably be this one, which is called One of Us is Next. This is another Colleen Hoover book that I'm currently reading and it is called Verity. And it's a thriller and it's literally so good. It keeps me up at night reading it and trying to find out what happens next. Next is Lying About Last Summer. I think that's what it's called. The Good Girl's Guide to Murder series is also really good. That's probably one of the best like thriller series that I've read. I really love reading either like thrillers or mysteries. Never Never by Colleen Hoover is such a good book. It's one of her like newer books. I think she wrote it or like published it in 2023. Moving on into the next category which is other, so just some like random things which I've been liking. So we have this diffuser which is from Shein, you can get the same thing off of like Amazon but I have like the essential oils for this which are from Amazon and this is just a good diffuser, it makes your room smell really good. I'm not gonna get up and show you guys this one but it is my, you know my little clock that I have, like my LED clock from Shein. I showed it in my room tour, so you guys probably have seen it before. But that is a really nice clock. You can also use it for alarms, I'm pretty sure. Next up is like another room decor piece type of thing. And those are these designer books. There's Dior, Chanel, Gucci, and Prada. These are really nice for decorations. They just give like that girl luxury type of vibe. Okay, next. They're kind of dirty, so ignore that. But these are my Nike blazers. These have been my favorite shoes, just like out and about. You can also use them for like going out. So you can either make these like casual or like more dressed up. The last thing that I've been loving recently are just hoop earrings. They're here like hoop earrings are just so nice and they're just a lot more out there than just regular earrings so i have these ones which are like it's like two hoops that like go over each other and my auntie gave me these so i either wear these or i have these like thick hoops which are from primark and these are pretty thick hoops so it took some getting used to but they're a really good like statement piece earring and yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching this video took so long to film so i really hope that you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for more videos and a lot more back to school content coming up soon and yeah have a great rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys Bless up, bless up, bless up.